This is KGW News at Noon. What is clear today that is that we must take immediate action to stem the spread of COVID-19 coronavirus in our communities. Our strategy now in Oregon is shifting away from one of containing isolated cases of COVID-19. Now we are focused on preventing the worst impacts of a mass outbreak from coming to pass. And that's Oregon Governor Kate Brown addressing the coronavirus outbreak. A few hours ago, she spoke at a press conference outlining a statewide plan to fight the spread of the virus. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Brenda Braxton. There really is a lot to unpack from this morning's press conference, but we want to highlight some of the key takeaways today. Governor Brown went into detail about the state's ban on all gatherings of 250 people or more. The ban is effective immediately and it lasts until April 8th. It applies to organized events, but it does exclude stores, shopping centers and schools. At this point, Governor Brown is directing all schools to stay open, but she says activities like field trips should be canceled. Make no mistake, these efforts to fight coronavirus will have an impact on our daily lives, our livelihoods, and Oregon's economy. It will be especially difficult for Oregonians without the means to miss work or self-quarantine if necessary. But these steps can help save lives. That is what is at stake. This disease does not discriminate. We are all facing this together. My commitment to you today is that I will do everything in my power to keep Oregon families healthy and safe. Meanwhile, Mayor Ted Wheeler was also at this press conference and he declared a state of emergency in Portland today. The director of the Oregon Health Authority also gave us an update. We estimate there could be 150 to 250 cases right now in Oregon. If we take projections from Washington infectious disease researchers and estimate a doubling of cases every week, which may be conservative, this could mean over 75,000 cases um, by mid-May in the state of Oregon without taking action. The director of the OHA also stressed the importance of social distancing during this time. You can watch that full press conference on our website, kgw.com. We know many of you have questions about coronavirus. You can text us those at 503-226-5111. We also want to give you a breakdown of the number of cases in the Pacific Northwest. At least 366 people in Washington are infected. King County is still the hardest hit with at least 234 cases. 29 people in the state have died. In Oregon, there are at least 21 cases. The newest ones were reported in Lynn County at the Edward C. Allworth Oregon Veterans Home in Lebanon. The center is closed to non-essential visitors. So far, at least 286 tests have come back negative. While the outbreak has forced essentially all major sports leagues to cancel games, Major League Soccer has suspended its season for the next 30 days. After that, it'll update plans for the rest of the season. In the meantime, the National Hockey League is suspending its season indefinitely. The NBA is the first sports league to suspend play indefinitely. The announcement coming last night after a player for the Utah Jazz tested positive for coronavirus. Now a second player from the team has been infected. Utah was in Oklahoma City to play the Thunder, but the game was canceled. The NBA says it'll use this suspension time to figure out its next steps to respond to the outbreak. The outbreak is also impacting college basketball. The Pac-12 conference posted this message on Twitter. The remainder of the Pac-12 men's basketball tournament is canceled until further notice, along with all other competitions and championship events. The Ducks and the Beavers were set to play each other at noon today. The University of Oregon says its remaining home games and matches will be restricted to student athletes, staff, essential personnel, family and media. Well, March Madness tips off next week, but not without major changes. The NCAA has banned fans from the men's and women's tournament games. That includes the women's Western Regional scheduled for Moda Center at the end of the month. Only essential staff and limited family will be allowed to attend. 
regardless of who we play, the environment we play in, whatever, we're just here to be a basketball team and try to make a great experience for one another. Late next week, Matthew Knight Arena in Eugene will host some opening round games. Right now, all of these games and others across the country will go on without audiences. Meanwhile, Portland Shamrock Run is postponed. It was scheduled for this Sunday, but this morning organizers emailed a letter to all the participants saying they fully support Governor Brown's decision to ban large gatherings. Organizers are coming up with contingency plans and will give another update later this afternoon. Well, Kells Irish Festival has also been canceled as a precaution. It was supposed to kick off tomorrow. Both the pub and the brewery will still celebrate St. Patty's Day with live music and Irish dancers. However, Kells says it'll keep an eye on the number of people in their pub and their brewery to stay below that 250 threshold. Mid there are locations. many other big events that have been canceled in the Portland, Vancouver area. We can get you that information a couple of ways. First off, you can text CLOSINGS to 503-226-5111, or you can find the list if you head to our website. Just go to KGW.com. Well, the Trump administration is restricting air travel from Europe as cases there continue to rise. Vice President Mike Pence talked about the decision on the Today Show this morning. Take a listen. As we know there will be more infections in the days ahead. We're trying to hold that number down as much as possible. That's the reason the president took the action regarding Europe. Vice President Pence went on to say the administration is working to increase testing. Here's Tracy Potts now with more on the travel restrictions. My fellow Americans, Tonight. To keep the coronavirus from spreading, President Trump announced a 30-day travel ban from Europe starting tomorrow. The U.S. will not allow foreign nationals to enter the U.S. from 26 European countries. The U.K. is exempt. These restrictions will be adjusted subject to conditions on the ground. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings. On the Today Show this morning, Vice President Pence added that Americans returning from Europe should stay home for two weeks. We want to focus on those that are most vulnerable, but we also want to work on ensuring that uh, the coronavirus is not further brought into our country. Today, a House vote on measures Democrats call family-focused, paid sick leave, free testing, unemployment insurance, and food assistance. Seniors are going to be hungry. Children are going to be hungry. That's what we're trying to take care of. We are on the front lines. In California, nurses complain hospitals are not ready for an influx of patients. More than 100 colleges are sending students home for an extended spring break. What are you taking with you? <laughs> Everything. Holding classes online and heating advice to avoid large crowds, a first in the sports world. March Madness with no fans, and the NBA is suspending the rest of the season after a Utah Jazz player tested positive. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. The coronavirus is having a big impact on airports around the country, including right here at PDX. The number of travelers is dropping dramatically. Last week, officials said the number of passengers fell 10%. And that was before yesterday's announcements. We caught up with a few travelers at the airport today for their thoughts. I think uh, you know, the risks are, are all around us, uh, but we have to be rational, reasonable, and thoughtful about what are real risks and what are perceived risks. Well, I think we just need to be safe and just protect ourselves, wash our hands, and remain compassionate human beings. We're all in this together. In response, airlines are cutting back service. United is suspending four of its daily departures. Sun Country is canceling several routes, and Delta has suspended its direct flight to Tokyo through May. Wall Street is taking another tumble. Trading stopped twice today as jittery investors worry about the economic impact of coronavirus. We can show you a live look at the Dow this afternoon. Look at that. It's down more than 2,000 points. At one point earlier today, the Dow dropped more than 2,000 points. That is, what, like almost 10 percent. The S&P 500 also fell sharply, down 5 percent in pre-market trading. It's in the last hour of trading. Things will wrap up at 1 o'clock our time. Also, a reminder that you can find more of our coronavirus coverage at kgw.com slash facts, not fear.
Turning to weather now, we want to show you this live look outside from our Rose City Sky Cam. Look at all that blue. I like that, Rod. So are we in for just one more day of well, decent weather? Well, one more day is today, so live it up, right? We still have that cold front that's really going to bring some big time changes uh, starting tomorrow. Right now, though, all the cameras, Brenda showed you the Rose City camera. Here's the Stoller Family Vineyards Estate, 46 degrees, still relatively cool, but we will easily get up, I think, into the mid-50s on average this afternoon. Here's the end of the Oregon Trail Interpretive Center. You can see the covered wagon uh, sculpture there. Oregon City, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and the similar scene over downtown. 46 is the temperature there. So I think we'll be back up to where we have been. That would be 56 degrees or so for a high 47 tonight. Now, when you wake up tomorrow morning, it'll be cloudy. Then rain develops probably before the lunch hour. This is 1030 tomorrow night on Futurecast. The green is light rain, but notice everything else, all this blue color, which is really close to the valley floor. That's snow indicating very low snow levels tomorrow night into Saturday morning. We'll talk more about what you need to know, especially if you're going to be traveling over the mountains this weekend. That's coming up. All right. We'll see you then. Thank you.